Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Ohio Guys here. I'm Christian Ocampo and today I'm joined by another uh, guest here. We have Jenny Yokobori. Hey, you, that's Jenny? me. Hi. Awesome. It's uh, great to have you here. Uh, we're Cheers. excited to have you, you know, talk about some of your work. Absolutely. Yeah, let's get started. I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, what is it like working in the industry today? Oh boy, starting out strong. Okay, um, I mean, the industry is great. Honestly, I don't think there's anything else I'd rather be doing. I was a screen actor for a while, and I did some some modeling back in my day, back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, and it was, it was not for me. It was very um, superficial a lot of the time, and voice acting is just like coming home. It's the best thing. It has some of the best people I've ever met in my entire life. And so it's just very supportive. Like, everyone is of the mindset pretty much where if, like, we don't get a part and our friend does, then it's almost just as good. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, the industry is fantastic. Um, of course, everything has, you know, its downsides too. But overall, I have very positive things to say. <laughs> Definitely. I know you're, you know, you're a fan of certain, you know, Parts of video games, anime, all yeah. that, all that good jazz. And you know, we got to you before this uh, interview. We talked about wedding with you. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's one of your biggest uh, highlights for January. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm a yeah, I'm a big fan of a lot of things, which I think helps my work as well because I'm educated going into it. So I think I can like reference things from before, being like, oh, well, this is the tone of the project, and so let's go with that. <laughs> Definitely. All right, so during your time in this industry, what is your favorite project you have worked on? <laughs> uh, um, I, the, my favorite project that I've gotten to work on, I can't talk about yet. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to say Fire Emblem Heroes because that's probably a close second, or if not tied for first, just because mm -hmm. I love Nintendo so so much it means the world to me I like it probably does for a lot of us and the Fire Emblem fans have just been the most supportive and welcoming people in the world and it's just been so like overwhelming the amount of support and love that I've gotten from them and so probably gonna say that plus like I get to play Marth's older sister which is crazy because I grew up like you know like playing him in Smash Brothers and things like that and so now when me and my friends have Smash Brothers tournaments, I'm always like, oh, there's my baby brother, little baby brother Mar. <laughs> so proud of him. Yeah, no, it's the Fire Emblem series. That's that's a huge fr franchise. That it is, to. and it's wonderful. Yeah, we're definitely going to jump in that very soon. Mm -hmm. So uh, before we get that, uh, why don't we talk about uh, Campus Catwalk? What was it like working on that? <laughs> oh, campus Catwalk. I haven't heard that name in years. Um, so Campus Catwalk was a um, incubator project, I think it's called, that I did when I was like twenty or something like that. It was it was a while back. I want to say it was twenty, and that was one of my like live action roles. I was a featured extra, and like I got there, and they told me that like my character had a name and everything like that, and they dressed me up in this like absolutely crazy outfit like they put me in like this gold like romper and I put my hair in like this like helicopter propeller on the top of my head and just did the most insane makeup on me and I looked like a disco ball but it was like really cool because it was very outside of my like my comfort zone and what I would ever wear I mean I'm more of like a t-shirt kind of girl um and it was just a really fun project I got to work with some youtubers that day I got to work with Alexa Losi and Mitchell Davis which I was a total dweeb and I like I had never I didn't realize who I was working with really and so I was just like talking to them and they're like oh yeah we're YouTubers and I was like oh that's cool <laughs> that's nice and so like I was talking to Mitchell and I'm like oh what's the name of your YouTube channel and he's like oh live lava live and I was like oh shoot <laughs> oh shoot my friends had crushes on you growing up because I had never watched him personally but I had heard about him so I was like oh man oh Oh, you're that guy. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was a really good experience. A lot of fun. Yeah, weird project, but it was awesome. <laughs> Always fun to collaborate with YouTubers. I'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking from experience too. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right, and now the title that I've been waiting to ask you on. So, what was it like working on Fire Emblem Heroes? Oh, it's fantastic. Um, I absolutely love Fire Emblem Heroes. Um, I got to work on it um, with some fantastic people, Patrick Seitz and the people over at Cup of Tea. They're all just wonderful, kind people. Um, so I went in, and I read for a few parts, and then they called me back, and they said, like, hey, you booked something, and I was like, oh, okay, great. And they handed me the script and everything, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I looked at her, and I'm like, huh, she kind of looks like, and then, sure enough, they were like, yeah, you're playing Mark's sister, and I was like, I'm, oh, I'm what? Oh, sorry, I'm what? And, um... I went through and I did it, and it was just like the craziest thing because when I was recording the lines, I'm like, I'm Yuri Lowenthal's sister. Okay, oh, I can't mess this up. Gotta be good. And um, uh, they handed me Eleonora, and I was like, she's so cute. And, like, and I'm like, is she from Tokyo Mirage Sessions? And they're like, yeah, she is. And I'm like, oh, that game is adorable. That's fantastic. And I just absolutely love Eleanor. She's very, very sassy, which is fun to play. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, definitely. I've, I've seen some of the other uh, actors that are in Fire Emblem. They have their own Twitch mm -hmm. channels or, you know, that stuff. And they always like to stream that stuff that they're in. So it, it always helps yeah. when, <laughs> when actors are that invested in their own real games that they got to voice in. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm very invested and attached to my girls now. I was voting voting for them every day in the polls on the Fire Emblem website. You can get in there, but I'm proud of them. <laughs> and then I'm hoping to stream Tokyo Mirage Sessions soon, too. I said that I put a thing on my Twitter saying that if I got to 1,000 followers by my birthday, which is on uh, February 11th, that I would stream it. And I wasn't really expecting to get there. <laughs> and then, sure enough, like I jumped up like 100 followers in like six hours. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I gotta get a Twitch channel. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully, you do fine. Hopefully, mm -hmm. it will go well. You know, it's it will definitely help. You know, just uh, you know, just getting all the the people that. Have fans of those series to jump in your Twitch and, and mm -hmm. you know, who knows where it'll go from there. They're all so passionate and I love that they're so passionate. It means so much to them. And like, it just warms my like heart and soul that I'm a part of something that people care about so much. <laughs> yeah. And I, like, you got that right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Uh, so another uh, project you got to work on, what was that working on the stranded? Um, that was actually my first dubbing project that I ever got to do, which, like, it was pretty much like jumping into the pool, like, deep end, into the deep end, head first, because I had done, um, a little bit of Miraculous Ladybug, but it wasn't, like, super strict or anything. It was just a very, like, loose format and everything, because I was doing additional voices, but The Stranded, I was playing, like, a secondary character, like, almost like a lead, and... I was playing Jan, who is kind of like a villain adjacent kind of character. I won't give anything away. But yeah, it was kind of intimidating, but it was a blast. Um, I really love Jan because she's very like intense. And so I got to play like an entire like range of emotions. I got to go through like a roller coaster of like of a day when I was recording for her. I got to go from like very sweet to like very intense and like at the absolute like emotional peak and like I had to like take a break after a certain scene because I was like oh okay that was a lot well well I'm <laughs> glad your first <laughs> you had your first taste you know behind the booth and you know grow from there oh yeah it just left me so hungry for more because it dubbing so much fun and like live action is so different from like anime or like animated dubbing because they have, they have actual mouths <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, you have, they had to do, like, so many rewrites on the spot because her mouth would be very clearly not making, like, a t sound. Like, it'd be making, like, a b. And so, like, it would just look wrong. And the company that I was studying for, they are, like, very, very dedicated to make it look, like, as authentic as possible. Mm. And so, like, they would do, like, so many rewrites just at the, like, on the spot. Or, like, they'd be like, hey, do you have any ideas for this line? And I'd be like, oh, uh, yeah, like, let's try this thing instead. And so, yeah, it's just, it's so 
precise live action dubbing because they have actual mouths and not just. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. So, Sensory Mansion, uh, Mercury's Ladybug, uh, yeah. tell us what was it like uh, working on that show and being with the Dubbing Brothers? Oh, it was, it was a blast. Ezra is like the sweetest man alive. He's like the happiest person that I know. It's like, He's just a really great dude. Like, honestly, if you watch his Instagram stories, like, you see how much energy and passion he has for it. Like, Ladybug really is like his baby aside from like his two other actual human children but this is like his like passion project like he loves it so much and so when you're in a room with someone that has that much like just just excitement for the project that you're working on and then you I myself have watched Ladybug before my nieces love it that like it was just it was thrilling it was a huge honor to be a part of something like I said earlier like when you as a voice actor, my biggest thrill is getting to contribute to something that people love because it means so much to them and being able to be a small part of that is just hugely humbling and like a massive honor. It's just, I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. And being in that room was a total blast getting directed by Ezra. He's brilliant and it was so much fun. Plus, I got to work with one of my good friends, uh, Bo Bridgeland, a little plug for my buddy there. He is... <laughs> He's an angel. He's a sweet little like British boy who moved to America, I think, like a year and a half ago now, and he's crushing it. He's booking a lot of stuff, and he's just the sweetest, most like like he has a very small voice, but he's very like sweet. Like he's oh hello, it's very nice to see you today. <laughs> and so I got to work with him on that project, and it was a total blast because I had no idea going in there, and then I walked in, and I was like. Oh, it's Bo! And so I got to work on that project with, like, a really good friend of mine. And so it was a total blast. And actually, in um, the episode of, I think, yeah, Star Train, um, when the daughter and her father are, it's when he's about to get akumatized, but it's like a psych out. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Um, when they're driving past, you see this, like, man and a woman in France, and they're arguing over, like, a traffic accident. And it's like, you backed into me. No, you backed into me. That's me and Bo, and so that's like a running joke with us now, where it's like, I hope we get to argue again. <laughs> oh, that's, that's hilarious. Mm -hmm. I hope to meet Bo one of these days, and I've already met Ezra, so yes, he, he, that man is, is a... He's a powerhouse. <laughs> he um, is lightning in a bottle. Oh, he is, and mm -hmm. he cannot stop running, and like, that's amazing, like, he cannot stop doing marathons. No, it's incredible. <laughs> like, I don't... No, I think Ezra might have more hours in the day than the rest of us. That's the only way I can possibly, like, explain how he's able to accomplish so much. Because he's a father and a husband, and he runs so much. And then he directs Ladybug, and, like, he directs all these projects for Dubbing Brothers. It's incredible. I have the utmost respect for him. It's unbelievable what he's able to accomplish in a day. Yeah, same here. I respect that man for all he's done. <laughs> And he's a sweetheart, too. Like, he's so nice. Like, he'll take the time and, like, appreciate, like, fan art. And like he'll just he's he's so sweet, yeah. Can't say enough nice things about him. Yeah. All right, now it's time for the funny question that we like to ask. Okay. Everyone. If you could be any character you are played in real life, who would you be? And you can mix and match. Hmm. <laughs> Tough one. The character that I most want to cosplay that I've played <laughs> is kind of like a is like a thing for me. It's the character that I got to play in Ladybug, which is like it was an, an additional voice role. But it's this box stewardess that goes by Marinette and it's literally the one line was, Would you like a beverage? And then she just says, like, cranberry juice please <laughs> And then, like, it just, like, pops out the top of, like, the box head. And so I think that would be really fun to be, just because it'd be really weird. I want to cosplay that character really bad and go to, like, a Miraculous Ladybug fan meetup and just be, like, this girl with, like, a box around her with, like, cranberry juice. Um, and it'd be, like, I feel like it'd be interesting to see that character get akumatized, too, just, like, spouting, like, cranberry juice all over France. Um, I think it would be, I don't know... Elise and Eleonora are both wonderful characters, and I love them both. 
I think Eleonora would probably be more fun because Elise has gone through some stuff that is less than ideal. She had to be separated from her brother for a really long time. Um, whereas Eleonora, she's like an actress like me. She's more of a diva, I think. She's definitely more of a diva. Um, so I think like if an actual serious answer, I'd probably want to be Eleonora more. <laughs> Like I would get to like, hang out with Barry, and even though he's kind of he's kind of uptight, he's a he's a cool dude, and I get to like have a, this really really cool bow. I get to have like blue hair. So I mean, like I think probably Eleonora. Probably there's some other characters that I've gotten to voice that I can't talk about yet that are would be really fun to be too. But I'm gonna stick with Eleonora as like my serious answer and like character I want to cosplay the most, which. You didn't ask, but I'm answering anyway. Sorry. That's fine. No, they, but just... um, as the, the box stewardess from Miraculous Ladybug. <laughs> I, I like your your decision and the cosplay Thank part. That's you. new. That's new one. I like. I like it. Mm-hmm. Now I know you can't talk about certain things with the next question, yeah. but you know, is there anything else coming out that you can talk about or anything out right now that you want to plug in at this time? Ooh, um, I don't think there's anything I could talk about as far as next projects go. I will tease that, like, I will have some stuff coming out soon, so keep your eye on my Twitter, which is at Jenny of the Glory. Um, but the thing I'd like to plug is, um, I think, uh, the Alzheimer's Foundation. If people could take their time out of their day and go into that, um, Alzheimer's is a thing very near and dear to my heart. My father actually had Alzheimer's. And so if you're feeling generous, go ahead and go to the Alzheimer's Foundation and please donate because there's a lot of people out there who are affected by this disease. And so anything helps. Um, I think personally, I'm most likely going to be doing some charity giveaways and things like that so I can try and raise money for it. Oh, that's that's a very noble cause. And that's mm -hmm. that's something I always like to see, you know, just, you know, people trying to donate and, you know, contribute to, you know, programs like that. So it's, yeah. it's, it's endearing. It's been it's been a little overwhelming because I've gotten a big influx of followers and fans who are very supportive and are very thankful for on Twitter th since I've gotten to announce Fire Emblem. And now that I have somewhat of a platform, I really want to do something good with it. And so I want to raise money for charities that are very close to my heart and like raise awareness for causes that I think sometimes fly under the radar. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. All right, and then you know to wrap up our interview and the last mm -hmm. question we have so you mentioned twitter any facebook yes. instagram the snapchat any any other social media for the fans mm -hmm. to reach you at yes um so i'm pretty much at jenny okabori my name all one word no spaces or underscores or anything on pretty much all platforms across the board um so yeah you can find me on twitter instagram i have a fan page on facebook as well um i'm not Really on Snapchat anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, give me a follow. I try and interact with people as much as I can. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, so yeah, I'd love to have you on the page and interact with you guys. And then hopefully Twitch sometime soon. <laughs> yes, I'm going to have to. I'm going to be setting up a Twitch soon. <laughs> I don't know when this interview is going to be coming out, but I just. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to have to do that stream soon because I'm going to get to a thousand followers, which faster than I assumed I would. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Jenny, for this uh, this lovely interview. We do thank you for guys. having me. Yeah, we appreciate it. And during the time of this recording, uh, happy birthday to you as well. You know. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So hopefully you have a good one. You know, hopefully you will have your Twitch and tons of fans you know to support thank you <laughs> so again thank you this is an honor for us thank you it's an honor to be interviewed by you guys yep and uh thank you to the fans here whether you're a fire emblem yeah. fan or america's daily bug fan you know mm -hmm. thank you for tuning in for this episode of the ohio guys and mm -hmm. we will see you all in the next edition bye now <laughs>